in today's video, we're talking about porn. Welcome to the video guys. My name is Tyler, also known as the Fit Chemist, and I help people take control of their lives by taking control of their fitness, nutrition, and lifestyle habits so that ultimately we can lead healthier and happier lives. So if you're new here, welcome. Please consider subscribing. Turn those notification bells on so you don't miss when I post a new video. And if you are returning, welcome back. I'm so glad that you are here. Fun fact, I actually scripted, filmed, and edited this video back in October of 2020, but I never ended up posting it because I just didn't have the courage to do so at the time. Looking back now, I know that I didn't post it for a reason, and that reason was because I was not mature enough yet. If I had posted it, I had a couple lines in the script at the beginning of the last video where I was asking everybody to be adults and that they could please be mature and saying that I was scared that people would use this video against me. And to be honest, I no longer have that fear because I'm absolutely done sitting idly by and watching porn destroy the lives of young men and young women too. So we're gonna get real on this topic today, but before I dive into my story and my addiction and overcoming that addiction, I first wanted to share a quote with Jordan Peterson, and he summed up porn quite nicely by saying, in today's age, men can see more women naked in one afternoon than people 100 years ago could in their entire lifetime. That's a problem. I'm first gonna share my story with porn, and then after that, we're gonna talk about who it is you're hurting, why you should stop, and how you can actually stop and get over this addiction. I was exposed to porn sometime in middle school. I remember my cousin gave me his old iPod Touch because he had gotten a new one, and I stored that in my bathroom. I had a little iHome dock, and honestly, that's just when it all started. So my parents probably didn't think anything of it. I had it on that dock, and they're probably thinking that I was listening to music, but it had internet access, and this is a problem for today's children too, is that if you have internet access on one of those devices, you can literally find anything you want at any time of day. To this day, I still remember very vividly the first video that I ended up watching. It's burned into my brain, unfortunately. And after that, it kind of just became a normal part of my life for a very long time. Unfortunately, porn is very normalized in today's culture. So watching porn seems to be normal, but also there's just sexual stuff everywhere. You go on Instagram, there are literally accounts that are dedicated to showing off the hottest girls in college, which is not hardcore porn and it's not exactly a video, but just lust and sexual culture is just so prevalent today. It's horrible. And as I've gotten older, I realized that not only is porn a huge problem, but the fact that we have young men going out to these bars and trying to pick up young women, take them back to their place or go back to their place and just see how far they can get the other person to go and use them for their physical pleasure. That is a problem in and of itself, which I'll probably cover in a separate video. So fast forward to 2020. And at this point, porn has been in my life for well over 10 years. And honestly, I don't remember what reason it was that made me stop. Perhaps it was the grace of God because on YouTube, there was a video that popped up on my homepage by Life Church. I will link that down below for all of you. I'd highly recommend checking it out. But I remember watching that video and short time after that, I just cut it out of my life completely. So at this point, it's been a little bit over a year that I have been porn free. I don't have an exact date. And honestly, I wish I did because in my mind, that is something to be celebrated. You might be thinking, Tyler, you're running a fitness channel. Why do you even care about this? What does it matter if I'm not hurting anyone? But dude, I gotta be honest, you're wrong. You're dead wrong. It's hurting a lot of people, not just yourself. And I'm going to tell you who you might not think you're hurting yourself, but honestly, by watching porn and masturbation in general, you are indeed hurting yourself. When you watch porn and masturbate, it is making you a selfish lover. Each time you do it, you are literally training yourself to finish and get off as quickly as possible. And what's going to happen way down the road when you get married, you're trying to have sex with your wife and you've trained yourself the last 10 years to just get off as quickly as possible. You're going to have issues of premature ejaculation. You're not going to be able to love your spouse the way that God designed us to do that. And honestly, it's just not going to end well. Or what's even worse is that you could be on the opposite end of the spectrum and instead of having premature ejaculation issues, you could have erectile dysfunction issues and you could not even be able to make love to your spouse in the first place because the last however many years, you have been training yourself to be turned on by all the fake stuff that happens in porn. You might be saying, okay, Tyler, those are fair points, but honestly, if I'm hurting myself by doing this and I'm not hurting one else, why, why does it matter? And honestly, I would hope that you think a little bit differently and that you value yourself enough to not do that to yourself. 
but it's not just affecting you, it's affecting so many more people, and one of them is your future spouse. Every time you go to make love with your spouse, you are subconsciously going to be comparing her to the hundreds, if not thousands of women that you have seen through a screen, whether it's a computer, phone, iPod, I don't care what it is, those memories are going to be in your head when you're going to make love to your future spouse. How is that fair to her? Think about it, it's not. You gotta stop this, man. Every time you watch one of those videos, you are training your brain to be attracted to something that is absolutely fake. What they do in those videos is scripted. It's there to give you pleasure. It's a heightened sense of pleasure. That's not how things happen in real life. And even look at their bodies. You're training yourself to be attracted to fake quality. They go and they get plastic surgery to enhance certain body parts. And that's gonna be something that you're gonna be attracted to instead of your future spouse. Not only are you hurting your future spouse, but you're hurting all of these strangers around you. When you watch porn, you are training yourself to think of women as sex objects. There's no way to uncouple this because what are you doing? You're going to a website, you're literally trying to find the hottest girl or multiple girls to find, watch a video and then get off on. You're just using them for your physical pleasure. That is another human being in real life and all you are doing is using them to climax. Unfortunately, since you're training your brain this way, you're gonna start to look at women in real life this way and that is how you are hurting the strangers because when you go to those websites, you are quite literally doing a smash or pass basis and what's gonna happen is that's gonna transfer over into real life and every time you look at another girl in front of you in the real world, that is what's gonna pop into your brain because what else have you been training your brain to do while you're in private? What's worse is that you might actually start fantasizing about having sex with them. Maybe you see a cute girl in real life and what comes into your head is this smash or pass thing because again, that's quite literally what you are doing when you go to a porn website. That comes into your brain and then after that, you might start fantasizing about having sex with them. You might think about what they look like naked or maybe you saw something in a video yesterday or this morning or whenever you last watched porn and you think about, hey, what if I tried this with them? And your brain just goes down and starts spiraling and spiraling into these horrible, horrible places. And I'm telling you, it's gotta stop. It's gotta stop. It absolutely pains me to say this and have to admit this and post it on the internet as well. But honestly, when I was at the height of my struggle and my addiction, I had thoughts like this and I could not control them. It's destructive. I'm extremely thankful that I have gotten out of that mindset. And honestly, it has been such a battle. So in a little bit here, I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how you can overcome this addiction too, because I don't want anybody else to have to go through that. And I don't care what the women are wearing. Men, we are absolutely responsible for our thoughts and furthermore, our actions about those thoughts. There's a case that can be made for women and dressing modestly, but again, I don't care what they're wearing. I don't care if there's a naked woman in front of you. All you have to do, look at the ground, look at the ceiling, do something on your phone, whatever you have to do to not lust after that person, you gotta start doing it today. In the Bible, it says that we are to flee sexual morality. We are not supposed to tinker with it. We're not supposed to toy with it. We are supposed to run away from it. At one point, Jesus said, as soon as you look at another woman with lustful intent, you've already committed adultery in your heart. There's also another point in which he says, if your right hand is causing you to sin, cut it off. Or if your right eye is causing you to sin, you need to gouge it out because it's better for you to lose a part of your body than to lose your whole body and go down to hell. Do I think he meant that literally? I don't think so, but think about that imagery for a second. What body parts are you using when you're going to self-pleasure yourself and go and watch porn? We'll get into how to actually stop watching porn and how to overcome this addiction in just one second. But my question of the day is, are you struggling with porn? I know people probably aren't going to want to answer that in the comments and I totally get that, you know, but this question of the day is more just pause the video, take some self-reflection and actually think about this issue and is it something that you are struggling with in your life? Some of you might be out there and thinking, hey, you know, I watch it from time to time, but it's not something that I struggle with. I could stop anytime. Really? I want to challenge you. Really? Can you? How about today? What's stopping you? Today could be the last day that you watch it. It could be, you can make that decision right now. But honestly, if you're out there and you're struggling and you are open to sharing with others, I would love to hear about it in the comments. But with that, we could talk about how you can actually stop and overcome this addiction. The first step is gonna be remove access. I don't care what you have to do to get this done, but you have to remove it. If you're watching on your phone, get a flip phone. If you're watching on your computer, throw that computer away, sell the computer, I don't care what it is, get it out of your life. If you're not gonna do something that drastic, at least install a software that is gonna prevent you from looking at those types of things. And once you install it, give the password and log in to someone else that you trust that's gonna have control over that, that's not gonna allow you to go in and edit those settings so that you can find it when you want it. You might be thinking, but Tyler, that's absolutely ridiculous. Like, I'm not gonna do that. Well, 
How bad do you want to stop hurting yourself? How bad do you want to stop hurting the other people around you? How bad do you want to stop hurting your future spouse? You got to stop. Remove access. The second one that's kind of related to the first one is going to be removing any and all triggers. So I don't care if that's going to be Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, whatever social media is on there. If you're seeing girls and it's causing you to have lustful thoughts, get it off your phone. There are so many accounts that just normalize sexualizing women. I told you earlier, there are accounts that are literally dedicated to showing off the hottest girls on campuses. There are girls who know that they can get clicks and likes from this, and they literally have an account that's dedicated to posting lingerie shots or whatever it might be, trying to direct traffic to their OnlyFans. I don't care what it is. If you're seeing something on those social media apps and it's causing you to lust, you gotta get rid of it because it's gonna trigger you and you're gonna wanna turn back to porn to satisfy those desires. And honestly, it might be tough. There might be a friend that you have of the opposite sex that's posting something like that and it's gonna be hard for you to mute them or unfollow them, but I'm telling you, they're not helping you. They're not. And again, what's it gonna cost you? How bad do you wanna keep hurting yourself and the others around you? The next one's gonna be finding an accountability buddy. So find someone you trust, tell them that you are struggling with this and that you want to get better and that you need their help. Ask them to check in on you with this struggle and ask how you're doing daily, hourly. I don't care what it is, you decide what that frequency is gonna look like, but find someone who's gonna help you through this. You can't hide in shame. I'm telling you, you are not gonna get through this alone. And if you don't have someone to do this with, or maybe you're embarrassed about doing it with one of your friends, I don't care if we don't know each other, you message me right now. Go to my Instagram, Tyler underscore the fit chemist. You message me, tell me you're struggling and I will be your accountability buddy and we'll help you get over this. And the last one, I realize not everybody's a Christian or they might not believe in God, but I'm still gonna put it on here. I do believe that you should turn to God. Repent, ask for forgiveness, pray to him, tell him that you are looking to overcome this issue, you're struggling with this and you need his help. Ask him to make you attracted to the things that he is attracted to, like what's in a woman's heart and what her character is and how she treats others, and not all these fake physical body parts that you've been training yourself to be attracted to the last however many years. After watching this video, you could make the decision right now that it's in the past, that's not something you're gonna struggle with anymore. There's no more, one more time, or I'm gonna watch this one last time. Don't even do it, don't give in. The last time that you watched it, that's in the past. Let that be your start date. You don't have to watch it ever again. You can stop right now. And trust me, I know how difficult it is to overcome this problem. So if you do mess up, give yourself grace and just get right back on track, but know that I'm rooting for you. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna link that Life Church sermon down in the description box below, but there's also gonna be some other resources for you. And I highly recommend going and checking those out. Cause like I said, this is not gonna be an easy battle, but trust me, you can do it and it is well worth it. If you liked this video, you thought it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for me if you wanna see some more content just like this, because right now I'm actually going through a period where I'm not indulging in any sort of sexual pleasure, whether that's with myself or with another human being. And I'm trying to do that for 90 days, Right now at the time of filming, I'm about eight weeks in and I need to get to 13 weeks total. And that's been a journey on its own. So I overcame the porn struggle and now I'm just trying to abstain from everything completely. And I think I'm gonna share a video about all the benefits that I've sort of noticed in my life since starting to do that and to stop lusting after women. So make sure you subscribe and you can stick around for that video in the future. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I know it was a more serious topic, but if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below. And again, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe turn those notification bells on because i post new videos every single friday and you do not want to miss when they go live and with that i'll see you in the next video